Hi Kyle, welcome home. First day at home. Ngayon lang siya nag-open ng ice. Ayaw niya mag-open ng ice eh. Yes, yes. Nasisilaw. Yes. Hi Kyle, welcome Hi, home. Hi, I'm Carol Anderson and I'm 16 years old. And we're expected to have some sort of last lecture or collection of things we've learned to deliver some advice, but... I'd like to say that honestly I've got nothing and I shouldn't be expected to have anything because I'm only 16. And as of now I can safely admit that I haven't experienced enough or done anything momentous or of any significance that would merit me this pearl of wisdom or advice to give. So just take everything here with a grain of salt. I do know that things are constantly changing and science can back me up there. And as much as we'd like things to stay the same, as simple as they are because we're comfortable and everything's familiar, things are bound to change whether we want them to or not. And I'm not advocating that we should run away whenever that change is bad or stay when it's good. I'm just letting you know that change will happen and never fail to do so. Change is something entirely out of our control and we're all going to be affected by change somehow. I mean, things around us change constantly and we used to worry when our cartoons will go on or if there's vegetables in our dinner or if we're having ice cream. Now we're worrying about classes and career paths because apparently that's where our lives are focused at. And being able to walk was once such a great achievement and now we're aiming for A's and B's and high GPAs and good SAT and SAT scores and prepping for college. And that's going up. Expectations are changed, raised, and you have to meet those expectations, but all you have to do is put each foot after the other. Just keep walking and pick yourself up whenever you fall. And take a rest, take a breath. Walk tall, walk fast, run even. I was born in Whittier, California on March 25, 2000, and I have a sister who's three years old. When I was three, I moved to the Philippines and lived there until I was 12 years old, and eventually ended up here. Maybe that's the biggest change I've experienced moving 2,000 miles across the world, leaving everything behind. And this isn't the I'm leaving for vacation type of thing, it's leaving for good. When you leave home, the first thing you wonder is, will I ever be back? Will I ever see my bedroom again? The kitchen? Will I ever see my family again? And I'm not gonna say sure, because I'm not sure, and that's what you figure out on another day. Because we shouldn't say, everything's going to be okay, and everything will go the way you want it to. But instead, remind yourself that everything is going to go the way it goes. And that's realistic in taking account the unexpected currents of change. Just build a boat and see where the currents take you, but sometimes the currents are pushing against you and sometimes you'll see boats bigger and better pushing forward farther than you. Don't feel too discouraged. All you have to do is follow that current back to shore and build a better boat, buy one even, and head out to sea again and see what happens then. Things change. We don't know what will happen and what can happen, we just know that it did. And we have to accept that it did. And there's an infinite possibility of things that could happen, so don't rack your brain trying to figure it out. 
Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Just go home. Get some sleep. We'll talk more tomorrow.